how to do it. So we will start with, with some observation. So if we have um, like degree degree of, of degree of, of a vertex is a number of its its neighbors. So, so number number of edges going out from from this vertex. So, if we have odd vertex, meaning vertex of odd, odd degree, something think like this. And now, now imagine. Uh, sorry, this is not odd. Uh, for example, this vertex of degree five. Now imagine that we have some Euler and two in the graph. So, how how does it look? It travels the graph somehow. And then it has to use one edge of the gra of the graph to to get to this this vertex. Let me let me call it V. So it gets to vertex V, and then it has to go out of V. So it uses another edge, and then it goes uh, again in the graph somewhere, and then it uh, enters to V again and leaves it. But the thing is that after some some time we go to V, and it there is there are no more edges because there there. Odd number of edges going out from V, and in each visit we take even number of edges. We take two two of these edges. So after some time we we left we are left only with with an edge, and we can can proceed further. What does it mean? So so in in our case we um, we can consider Eulerian tour meanings uh, closed closed walk or or we can we can allow different um, different ends. So so in the first case there can be no no vertices of odd degree, and in the other case odd odd degree means start or end. Yeah, so so something 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 like this, and um, so it, it's quite easy to see that there cannot be more than two vertices of of, of the degree. But um, let me let me stay with uh, this this case of, of closed closed walk because we can easily easily uh, reduce it reduce it uh, from from this so if, if we are consider this case here so we can we have two vertices of odd degree what does it mean so we have vertex u of odd degree and vertex v of odd degree and there are some so it looks looks like this so what we can do is to add an edge between between them so it will increase the degrees of u and v by by one, so we obtain a graph where all vertices are of, of even degree, and then now, now we are exactly in the in the situation of closed or in vogue because in if in this this uh, original graph there exists a non-closed over in vogue, then in the modified graph we obtain closed over in vogue, and then we delete this edge edge, edge back. And the walk, the closed walk, will split to to uncloused walk. So, so in this case, um, it's fine, fine like this. Yeah. So, so we are going to consider only closed walks, and there is there is a quite o obvious thing that G admits an Eulerian tour tour. Then this G has vertices of even degree um, has all vertices of, of even degree sometimes these graphs are called Eulerian uh, all vertices are of, of even even degree yeah, because if there would be some vertex of odd degree, it wouldn't be possible to construct an Eulerian tour. But now, what what was theorem of of Euler was the following clever clever thing that we can put here, if and only if plus 
something which which I'm going to talk about it later, but it's mm, ah, let's 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 say it right now. Um, this is this is clearly not true, but but it's it's something which like, many students when they hear about the problem forget about about this additional part, and mm, of course it's it's kind of silly, but uh, like uh, to to be like uh, let's say more more formal or more more. Like precise, we should not forget about it. That is kind of important. So, so like it, it is a question that like it is a thing that almost everyone forgets about. But but when you when you point point this out, almost everyone say, oh yes, there is there is this another condition. So so let me construct this graph. This graph, which which consists of of two two triangles, yeah, and so this graph clearly. Has even degree for all, all of the vertices. So this this is, this guy here is Eulerian, but as as you can clearly see, there there is no no possible closed Eulerian tour, uh, because if we start somewhere, we cannot get to the other part of the graph. And the thing is that this guy is is non-connected. So what do we need here? That the graph is connected, otherwise it doesn't make any sense to consider some kind of Eulerian tour because we cannot even possibly visit all edges by by one tour. Yeah, but it's let's say not so important, but but maybe maybe nice to nice to, to know this. Uh, also, it's it's kind of kind of nice exercise if if you ask students. Okay, so, so give me an example of graph which has all vertices of even degree but doesn't admit an Eulerian tour. So, so you learn that you, that you sh shouldn't forget about the, uh, even about uh, these details like like this. Yeah. So, so, so what we are going to do now is is to prove prove this thing, and this will be everything everything for now for for this 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 lecture. And so, so, and the proof is proof is um, kind of simple and natural. So uh, we are going uh, like like this. Uh, this this implication is is obvious by by observation we already by observation we already made. Yeah. So if there would be some vertex of of odd degree, the closed walk would have to to start or end there. But it's not possible because the walk is closed. Uh, so, so for for the other implication, we have Eulerian graph. So we pick an arbitrary vertex. So let's call it U, and we pick some some arbitrary edge in it. Uh, so let me let me let me draw some some example. So mm, yeah. So let me let me consider a graph like uh, graph like this. And so we pick an arbitrary vertex and start to walk through the graph. And because vertices, uh, all vertices have even degree, then if we come to a vertex, it um, it has. Uh, Odd, odd degree or odd, odd edges remaining in the graph. So there is always at least one edge which we can choose. So we choose another edge and, and go on, and we do it in, in this in this walking way as as long as as we can. So so we, we for example take this one and then go go there and go here and then go go here, and after some time we we come to a situation that we. We cannot uh, proceed. Uh, yes, yes, there is there is one match missing here. Uh, so. And there is there is another vertex of of degree of or the degree uh, somewhere. Uh, Okay. Uh, 
no, no, no. This is this is incorrect. Uh, sorry, uh, this way. Yeah, something like this. So, and after some time, we come to a to a situation where in which uh, we cannot go further. So, so let, let's imagine that it, this is this situation. Yeah. So, so let's let's imagine that. Uh, we are in we are, uh, the, the original graph looked, looked like this, and now we we are stuck in in vertex u, and we cannot we cannot proceed any further. So the thing we 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 constructed is this red thing is is some kind of of closed closed tour tour like this. But the thing is that it does not does not has to be Eulerian. Yeah, so the the point is that some some of the edges may be still missing in the tour, but the the thing is that uh, if we remove all these all these edges from the graph, if we forget about them, the remaining graph is still Eulerian. So what we are going to do, we, we take this tour and we are going to prolong it. So we walk along the tour like this, yeah, and if we find find some vertex which um, which has uh, uh, some some spare edges then uh, they are going to going to use it and uh, there is still some some vertex of of degree uh, degree free uh, of um, uh, yeah this uh, this one here as we have to Attach like this. Uh, okay, uh, now the graph should be probably possible. Uh, possible to do it. So, so what what we have here, we, we are in this vertex, and there are still some some spare edges. So we take these edges and walk them, and we ignore the red edges completely. But the graph is still Eulerian, so so the walk cannot stop earlier. Um, let me I'll do this last one. Cannot stop earlier than than when, when it close closes this. So, so we we will obtain two. Now we have two closed tours. And what we want to do, we we join them. We join them together, like this. Yeah. And so, um, so um, now we will join it. And how to how to join it? So, so you have. Like these two, if I if I redraw it because we don't really care about repeating vertices, then like that we have one tour like this, and we have another tour which goes like this. And of course, some vertices may appear more than one here. So what we are going to do, we just walk this tour like eight in a eight in an eight shape or something like that. Yeah. So we walk the tour tour like this. Yeah. So we connect it together. So all these these blue edges will become red again, and we consider in the same way. So if if the graph is connected, every edge have to be have to be used at some point. So we walk and we we end here, for example. Or uh, then we take this edge, this edge, and this edge, and now again I join this this triangle together. Yeah. So so we can we can work in in this in this way. We can extend the, the closed tour, and after some time there are no edges. So, so in in the end, we have a variant tour. So, so what's what's nice about this is that this is not only not only uh, mathematical proof of of this result, but also. Gives fast algorithm how to how to find such a tour. Ah, so we not only know that that it exists, we we also know that we can find it efficiently. Yeah, so so this is this is kind of a nice of of the result of Euler. Not not many many problems are are 
quite quite easy to to solve algorithmic uh, like like this. So let me let me give you some some kind of, of exercise. Um, 